<laughs> right, so. Yeah, Jerry's done a few bits and pieces on various accessories and so forth, which are all very well and good, but what we really want to talk about are guns. Now, right, right, a few bits and pieces we're going to look at, different price ranges. This one here is the SEMA AK-47 Kalashnikov. I'm not an AK fan, but you know what? The guys in Hobby love this because their customers love it. It works, it's reliable, it doesn't let them down. And best of all, it comes in at a great, great price range if you're looking for a starter gun. 150 quid for this. You can't argue with it. For a gun that's going to last you, it's going to be reliable and give you good range and, and you know, enjoy using it. I think that's great. But now, a lot of guys want to plink in the back garden, especially uh, you know guys with pistols and stuff. And there's a number of targets you can use. This one is from Swiss Arms. Um, we've got a couple of actually. This is. The BB catches on the back. What's really, really fun is it took four guys to try and set this up and none of us could and it took one girl 30 seconds. So what does that say about men? But it's a great little uh, little sort of target. It catches, this is apparently one of their biggest sellers. It's not, not expensive. Uh, the netting catches all the BBs and there's a zip underneath to let the BBs out when you're done. Um, it saves them being, you know, sort of buckets of them at the back of their garden. Depends on how good your shooting is, mind you. Uh, has paper targets that can be taken out. You know, it's, it, for a target, it's brilliant. The second one here is the, it's a soft gel type, which is similar to this type. Uh, this is a, a smaller version of this, it's obviously a bigger version. Um, and the soft gel one, basically they sort of, they impact and make a mark where they hit, so you can kind of see where they've gone. It's the same setup, but look, great for plinking, great for a bit of target practice, and if you want to set up a sniper in your backyard, these are certainly sort of go somewhere, you can set one or two of these up, it'll give you an idea of what you're, you're actually hitting and where you're hitting. Right, another accessory that we really can't do without are magazines, okay? A lot of you, when you start off, you're going to be starting off with high cap mags, and they're great, they're absolutely no problem. You know, you can fit four, between four and six hundred BBs in a mag, it's great. Um, a lot of players, once they get deeper into the game, are maybe going to want to think about mid caps. I prefer mid caps um, because, first of all, they don't need winding, and they do add a little bit more realism to your gaming as well. This one here is the uh, PMAG M version from Magpul TTS. Of all the mid caps I've seen out in the field, I've yet to see anyone complain that PMAGs didn't work or they let them down. So, yeah, they are dear. 27 euros for a mag isn't cheap, especially you know when you consider if you're going to be rocking up with PMAGs or, or any sort of mid-cap, you're going to need to us between 6 and 12 of them. So it is going to cost you a few quid to, to uh, fill out your army with these, but they are worth them, worth the money. Um, I use these, I've got 12 of them in my rig, Jerry uses them as well. The funny thing about the PMAGs, um, Eventually the spring inside them starts to weaken a little bit. Sometimes you may make the uh, faux pas that I did where you leave these full of BBs from one week to the next and you sort of detention the spring. The great thing is you can just take an Allen key, take off the adjuster plate, go inside and there's a little uh, hatch that you can pop open and retrieve the full spring out. Just give it a slight tweak, put it all back in, click it back in, and you're good to go again. These things are without a doubt the best mid cap mags on the market, bar none. I've used a few at this stage, and um, they're my favourite. They're not cheap. Anything with a Magpul name on it is never going to be cheap, but you know what? Sometimes you have to pay a little bit over the odds to get perfection, and to me, they're as close as you can, you can get to perfection. <laughs>